الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Continuing the topic of questions and answers by the scholars May Allah preserve them and may Allah's mercy be upon those who died from them The question is Why is it that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala burdens the believers who worship him abundantly burdens them quote with trials and with illnesses while those disobedient enjoy all the goods of life end of quote this is the question The answer. This question is presented such that it may have two angles to it. Either it is an objection, either it is an objection, and the other is it could be seeking guidance want to know the truth if it is of the first angle then it is evidence of the ignorance of the person making the question because the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is far is far more greater that it can be comprehended fully by our intellect take the saying of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Isra 17 80 وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الرُّؤْ It should be 85 It should be 85 Sorry for that وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الرُّؤْ قُلِ الرُّؤْ مِنْ أَمْرِ رَبِّي وَمَا أُوْتِيْتُمْ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا This is the correct relevant verse and they ask you O Muhammad concerning the Ruh, the spirit say the Ruh, the spirit it is one of the things the knowledge of which is only with my Lord and of knowledge you mankind have been given only a little this spirit which is within us between our two sides and which is the material for our life we don't really comprehend and people of thinking and philosophers were unable to specify and to know of its how so if this ruh which is the spirit which is the nearest creation to us we don't know of it except that which has been described in the Quran and in the Sunnah then what do you think of things other than that beyond that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is far the all wise full of wisdom and therefore we should submit to his decree in complete submission to his universal decree because we are unable to comprehend the objectives of Allah's wisdom subhanahu wa ta'ala so the answer for the first angle is therefore 
الله أعلم وأحكم وأقدر وأعظم الله سبحانه وتعالى is all knowledgeable most knowledgeable most wise all able and the greatest as to the second angle of the question taken it as a question seeking guidance then we say to this person that the believer is tested and in that which Allah tests him with from that which may be harmful to him or hurts him has two great benefits has two great benefits to it the first benefit is number one testing him in his faith meaning is his faith truthful or shaky the true believer who is true in his faith perseveres and is patient for the decree of Allah and anticipates the reward from Allah and therefore the matter would be easy on him will be easy or easier it is said that one of the righteous women she was touched by an injury of her finger and she didn't feel the pain and she didn't show any complaints so she was asked about that she said the sweet the sweetness of its reward made me forget the bitterness of being patient on it and thus therefore the believer anticipates the, the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and submits fully this is one benefit the second benefit Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commended and praised the persevering believers so much and that he informed that he is with them and that he will fulfill them their reward fully and perseverance and patience is a high rank no one can attain that except the one who is afflicted with the tests and perseveres on them so if he is patient regarding them he will attain this high degree with this abundant reward and thus the testing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the believers in that which may harm them or hurt them is for in order to reach the level of the, of the persevering ones and that's why the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he is by far he, the, the greatest in faith amongst mankind and more and the greatest in his fear and awe of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he used to be touched by illnesses 
twice in strength and impact when compared to the regular person and at the time of death it was even very intense on him وسلم, all of this in order that the rank of perseverance this high degree can be completed and perfected for him and therefore he was the foremost in perseverance and from this it becomes clear to you that the wisdom in testing the believers with these afflictions either that is for that rather purpose of raising them to high levels the rank of perseverance and patience now as to the second part of the statement that Allah gives the disobedient and the rebellions and the wicked and the kafirs the health and the provisions abundantly this is from his plan and plotting for them subhanahu wa ta'ala it has been affirmed that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa or it is affirmed that the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam said inna dunya sijn al-mu'min this life is the prison for the believer وَجَنَّةُ الْكَافِرِ and paradise for the disbeliever so they are given these good things being hastened to them in this life and in the hereafter they will be reckoned with taking receiving that which they deserve from punishment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-ahqaf verse 2 وَيَوْمَ يُعْرَضُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا عَلَى النَّارِ أَذْهَبْتُمْ طَيِّبَاتِكُمْ فِي حَيَاتِكُمُ الدُّنْيَا وَاسْتَمْتَعْتُمْ بِهَا فَالْيَوْمَ تُجْزَوْنَ عَذَابَ الْهُونِ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَسْتَكْبِرُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ بِغَيْرِ الْحَقِّ وَبِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَفْسُقُونَ سورة الأحقاف 46 2 it should be 20 I'm sorry should be 20 on the day please listen to this on the day when those who disbelieve will be exposed to the fire it will be said you received your good things in the life of this world and you took your pleasure therein now this day you shall be recompensed with the torment of a humiliation because you were arrogant in the land without a right and because you used to rebel and disobey so therefore this life is for the kafir and when they move to the hereafter they will find the punishment the torment of humiliation we seek refuge in Allah from that and this punishment of humiliation will be intense in the sense that they will find the punishment and the loss of that which they loved from this life and the enjoyment and the pleasure they lived in it and therefore this is another benefit which we can add to the previous two
So the believer will move from this life of afflictions and trials to another abode which is much better than this one. Therefore he would move from a place where is hurt in it to one which we, he will be pleased therein. And thus therefore his delight as to that which he is coming forward to, to receive is amplified because there he received this pleasure and favors and left behind him the pain and the afflictions. Meaning in opposite way to the disbelief. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most high knows best and this is based on the answer by our Shaykh Muhammad bin Salih al rahimahullah for this question. Alhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah.